Take a moment, see yourself sitting here, floor beneath you, ceiling above you. We're going to reach down and grow roots from our feet down through the floor, down through the basements, down into the soil far beneath the houses and grow our roots down and around the rocks, around the boulders, go down through the soil until we find the bedrock far below. And as we look around the bedrock, we search for that pool of water, the cool, crisp waters of chaos, waters of potential <laughs> far below the earth. As we find them, we're gonna slowly start bringing these waters up into our bodies. So with each and every breath, focus on pulling these waters up through your roots. Feel the waters come up through your feet and into your legs. As the waters fill your legs, feel them come up further into your loins and into your belly. And as you breathe in further, pull the waters up more into your chest, into your head. Then on your next breath, as you breathe in, pull up further so they come up out of your head and out of your hands and flowing back into the earth. Feel the waters come up through the earth, through your body, and back into the earth. Feel these waters of chaos, these waters of potential running throughout your body, filling you with these energies from below. Now, turn your focus upwards. We're gonna reach up with our branches and grow them up through the ceiling and up through the roofs. Grow the branches up high through the clouds into the sky until you can find that one star directly above your head. We're gonna reach up for that star. We're gonna pull the fires from above, fires of order, fires of potential. We're gonna pull, pull these fires down through our branches these warm fires coming down through our branches into our arms and into our heads. With each and every breath, we pull them down further. Feel the light coming down into your chest, into your belly. With each and every breath, the fires come further down into your loins, into your legs. Till at last we breathe in and we feel the fires come down into our feet. As we look at ourselves, we can see ourselves glowing with the waters from below and the fires from above. Order and chaos, the powers of potential mixing throughout our bodies, filling us with the energies that we need. Take of these energies. Drink deep and fill your reserves with all that you need. And when you're ready, Push the waters back down. Push the fires back up. Know that if you ever need to pull on any of these energies ever again, you can always reach down, you can always reach up. But for now, push them out and disconnect. Bring your branches and your roots back in. Take a deep breath in and out, in, and out. When you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for ritual. First, make offerings to the Earth Mother. You who surround us, support us, feed us and nourish us, give us shelter. You remind us of your awesome power with the storms that have come across the United States in the past week or past couple weeks. You who are flooding in the Midwest, we call on you tonight, call on you to aid us, to guide us. We call on you for your support and to you Earth Mother, we make this offering. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. And now, we're here to honor the gods. 
the land spirits and the ancestors. You're here to ask blessings from all the kindred. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, your waters run deep into the earth. You connect us to the ancestors. You reside in the land of the ancestors. And to you, we offer you this silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fires, you burn and transform. You send our offerings high into the sky to the land of the shining ones. We offer you the sense sense. You say sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, into the wells far below in the realm of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, far above into the realms of the shining ones. We give you water from the wells and smoke from the fires. We say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. By the might of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. <sighs> Call on the gatekeepers, to all of you who have aided us in the past, Call on you once more. We ask that you guide us and send us where we need to go. We ask that you watch over us and guard us as we do our works this evening. We ask that you take our messages far and wide so that we may hear back what we need to hear. For all of these things, gatekeepers all accept our offerings. And now, mighty cake keepers, join your magic with ours. In my house and in all of our houses, let our wells open as a gate to the underworld. Let our fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let our trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let our gates be open. Next, we make offerings to the ancestors, to all of you of our own family, our bloodline, those who have come before us. We offer you welcome. To all of you of our chosen families, our friends, our mentors, our teachers, our inspiration, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very earth, you who were here long before us, we offer you welcome to all of you. Come join us at our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. And to the land spirits, to all of you of fur and feather, scale and skin, our animal kin. We offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of the unseen kin, the house spirits, the land spirits, and all the names that you go by, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires, land spirits, Accept our offerings. And last but not least, to the shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who watch over each and every one of us, our patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. 
the gods and goddesses of this very land, you, are, you who are here long before us, we offer you welcome. And to gods and goddesses unknown to us, you who watch over us, but that we do not know about, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. At this point, if there are any offerings that you wish to make, please feel free to make them. To all those that are suffering from natural disasters, both here in the US, around the world, May the help that you need come, and may you get through this in one piece. <sighs> there are no other offerings to be made. Adi Kindred, we've called to you tonight to ask for blessing in return, but first, we give you this one last offering. We say, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Now, kindred, we ask, what blessings do we receive? The ancestors give us idols, the you, the center of things get changed. The land spirits, they give us Elhas, the elk says, protection. And a shining one. Shining ones give us Sozo, the sun, wholeness, and completeness. <sighs> They're saying they've got our backs. We know what we need to do. The do what we need to do, especially spiritually. The land spirits will watch over us. The shining ones will make sure that we get to completion. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? Okay. Mighty Kindred, we have offered to you. We ask that gift deserves a gift. We ask that you fill our waters, fill them with the omens we have just heard, fill them with the I was in the tree at the center of it all, fill them with the Elhas and the protection of the Elk Sage, fill them with the Sozo, the sunlight of completion, fill each and every one of our waters with these. Omens. Behold the waters of life. <sighs> now, I thank all those who have aided us. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of the other days, you who watch over us as our patrons and matrons, you who watch over us and are known to us, and you of this very land. For all that you have done for us tonight and all you do for us throughout the days, shining ones, 
we thank you. To the land spirits, be you fur and feather, scale and skin, or animal kin, you are plant kin, be you the unseen kin, for all that you have done for us tonight this right, and all that you do for us throughout the days. Land spirits, we thank you. To the ancestors, be you of our own families, be of our chosen families, or be you of this very earth. To all of you, for all you have done for us tonight, and all you do for us throughout the days. Land spirits, we thank you. Sorry, the ancestors, we thank you. Thank you. And mighty gatekeepers, once more, you have opened the ways between the worlds and have brought back these omens that we have just heard. You've aided us so we may travel safely. For all that you have done for us tonight and all you've done for us throughout the years. Gatekeepers, we thank you. We ask once more you join your match with ours. Let the well become but waters. The fires become but flame. Let the trees become but trees once more. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, we honor you first and we thank you last. Without you, we would not be here. And while we may ask that you calm down a little within the Americas so that we may get back to spring, we do love you for all that you do. And for that, we say, Earth Mother, we thank you. Then go now, children of birth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended. <laughs>